Hi, KG7HSN here. I'm just going to give you just a very, very high level quick tutorial of FL Digi, uh, which is what I use for PSK31 operation. I've got a Kenwood TS850S, um, and I'm located out of Utah. I'm running on a multi band parallel dipole. Uh, right now, the band is pretty much dead, um, so this might actually give an excellent example or uh, give me an excellent opportunity to kind of show you the software. When you first load it up, you look at it and you go, whoa, what in the world am I even looking at? Um, hopefully this will kind of give you just a very basic beginner entry level uh, idea. Uh, first and foremost, uh, picking up and uh, setting your frequency tends to be the trickiest part that I have encountered. Um, I will just left click once and then I can start typing in the frequency that I want. Click again, 7070.300. And then down here, the corresponding, wherever you move the uh, mouse, will also show the corresponding uh, frequency in kilohertz as well. So you can see that it's set to a 0.500, or this goes up to 7071, or even 772. Also, um, over here, as it starts to pick up signals or what it thinks is signals, uh, it'll start to develop or it'll start to show up right here. You can uh, select these and it will try to actually select and pick up uh, what it's reading. Now, let's just go ahead and pretend like uh, this was actually a legitimate sim signal. It actually might be. I could jump down. Um, if it looks like it's going to be a, a location, when you double click on it, it will automatically fill, fill the field for you. Um, if it looks like a call sign, it will actually put it up here. Um, right uh, up here, you, you're going to choose your operation mode. Come down to PSK, uh, uh, BPSK31. Uh, down here, you've also got the quick select. So if you can see that uh, this guy's operating in 63, not 31, you can quickly jump to that. You can see it makes it a little bit wider. Go back down to 31. We'll just go uh, back down here and keep collecting garbage. Um, so that's kind of a very high level quick uh, nutshell. Um, this is your kind of your squelch level, if you will. So I could move this up to try to help uh, weed out some of the garbage up here. Uh, you've got a context menu when you right click. It allows you to be able to uh, clear various things. Um, right down here, this is another tricky part. I kept trying to figure out how bright this should be, uh, how yellow, how blue. Um, at what point in time is kind of really the happy medium. That is when I discovered this guy right down here. As I turn up and down the volume on my rig, um, I'm, I'm using a Signalink USB. If I turn the volume up, you can see it starts to uh, give me warning as to the fact that there's too much noise. As I can turn it back down, it turns to green. If I turn it way, way too far down, you can actually see that uh, I start losing data altogether. So I'm going to go ahead and slowly keep turning it back up. You can see it's getting more and more. And then as soon as I hit where it goes to yellow, I'll kind of stop and then I'll just back up just a little bit. And then I'm good to go. Um, also down here, waterfall toggle. Signal. You can go back and forth. Also, say uh, you're trying to uh, get right in on someone's signal. Uh, say they're at 7071.500, but they're just barely off. You can use these to just uh, just make a very, very micro adjustments, or you can jump by tens. Um, the other thing that you can do is also, these are your macros right here. You can right click on them, and it will open it up. You've got a bunch of variables over here that you can choose from to help create. Um, this is transmit. This is uh, put back into receive mode. Uh, this is the answer. Here's a uh, start of a queue cell, and then you can start typing. And that's kind of the 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 back to you, if you will, specifically KN uh, uh, back to the person that you are specifically referring to. Uh, this is kind of a fun one. This one's just a quick uh, my location. Uh, brag. Um, over here, uh, 
Uh, this is the one that you're going to want uh, to start the transmission. This is one the one that you're going to want to stop. Um, I'm hoping that someone will get back to me. So let's go ahead and just call CQ. Um, so I'm going to select uh, select right here, and I'm going to check my ALC level, and my power, and my SWR. Everything looks a okay. You can see that it's transmitting. This is the only thing that you can see. Uh, as it is going, uh, you can also see that the cursor was put to the very end. If my cursor was right here, it would actually stop and pause there. It finished running through that macro. It has stopped now. You can see that it has gone back to monitoring. As I said before, the band condition on 40 meters right now is really, really horrible. Um, so I'm not entirely sure that anyone's going to come back to us. It would be really neat if they did. Um, you can also start typing up here. So I could say uh, um, call sign day KV7HSN. Great to meet you. Your, si your signal is amazing. Uh, back to you. Call sign. A KG7 HSN KN. And then I'd go ahead and press transmit, and you could actually watch it the same way that it did the call sign up above, or the CQ, excuse me. Um, it would do the exact same thing. And it's also kind of fun, it will also send backspaces. So if you are going along and you accidentally make a mistake, and it actually transmits all the way to here. You can actually press the back characters and it will send that and they will see the back characters up on the screen as well. So kind of fun. Um, one last thing just to show you how to get it even set up. Uh, my signal link is plugged in via USB. The audio, uh, the, oh, look at this. We've got a signal right here. Very, very weak one, but I can try to hone in on this guy. Let's see if I can get him. Um, basically, my signal link, I have the uh, headphones jack going into the input of the signal link and then I have the output going into it comes it comes with a special cable into the mic jack um, it's got some uh, fine-tuning uh, receiving and transmitting uh, volume controls on it as well as well as the delay um, once you get it plugged in and installed uh, you can come up to here and go to uh, excuse me uh, sound card and I do not use any sort of rig control or anything like that. Uh, just come over to the audio tab and you're going to want to select the uh, microphone and then the uh, speakers. And then you can go ahead and press save, close. And that is what you're uh, listening to. If I were to change the sound card to uh, the capture, if I were to change it to um, something different, you can see you lose the waterfall. So I'm going to go ahead and change it back. And I'll pick right back up. But hopefully that was helpful. Too bad no one came back. Um, maybe I'll try to find somewhere else, but uh, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, that took me a, kind of a little bit of a while to figure out. Even reading the instructions, it was kind of a little confusing. Um, hopefully you can uh, uh, figure that out from there it'll get you going also you can uh, use this clear button to clear this dialog window over here again clear here um, you can uh, you can select copy right it doesn't sometimes uh, it acts a little clunky and uh, funny with uh, uh, hotkeys and whatnot um, so I tend to use the actual right-click context menu to be able to uh, quickly do things. And again, um, if their call sign was up here, I could double-click it and actually fill it in up here. Uh, up here, it sends you to QRZ. You can clear everything up here. Okay. Um, if I were to double-click on this, it would actually start the time on and say like 0451, for example. It's actually 55, uh, but we'll just... Uh, and then by the time you finish, it kind of keeps track for you, so you don't really have to uh, um, do anything. Also, I, I guess I forgot to show you this macro, the SK, the end. 
Uh, you can go ahead and change this to whatever you want. Some like it a little bit shorter. Some uh, uh, prefer a really long, long, uh, drawn out kind of conversation when they close. I personally don't like using the macros. I like to be a little bit more personal. But sometimes when you just want a quick uh, verification or a quick QSO and you're jumping back and forth trying to get like your all states of order or whatnot, sometimes it helps just to have these macros uh, and get quick verification. So uh, that's it in a nutshell. And thanks for joining me.